Hi there guys and welcome to another blow dump episode. So um, yeah, we're on the SG, we are playing rough. I decided to bring the gecko out for a little ride. We haven't been on the water for a while because of all the big waves and the big seas and the big swells and everything. And then there's another storm coming in. You can see the clouds are building up again, but for today the air pressure is perfect and we're gonna be spending the night. Um, I'm gonna be doing clippers. Yes, I'm doing to be another clippers episode. So I'm decided. Today's going to be the last clippers effort that I'm going to put in. So, uh, yesterday I went and got a couple of clippers, so they're in here, the bucket. If you want one of these pumps, they are magic to keep your life mate, alive. Um, so yeah, we're going to do that. We're going to be fishing with clippers. I'm going to show you the setup that we use, all the baits and everything, but we still need a couple more. We don't have enough, so we're going to first go and catch a couple of clippers. Um, and then, yeah, then I'm going to show you how we, we reach up. Um, yeah, we're gonna have a fun episode. Blake is here with us. We've seen Blake on a previous episode. We caught a nice grunter, and I'm just waiting for Sheldon. I'm gonna pick up Sheldon here in front at the parky. Um, yeah, and then we're gonna check. Uh, the theory is that a lot of the fish came in with a big swell, and the big seas that we had, a lot of fish came came into the estuary. Um, and then uh, with the Barometric air pressure being around about 1018 and the storms coming in this weekend. It's Friday afternoon and the storms are coming in Sunday starting to rain tomorrow and then it's raining up until Tuesday. So with all the storms that's coming in, um, I said to Sheldon, let's try and get a couple of grunters. We've been fishing with prawns and I saw them tailing. They were massive, absolutely massive grunters they were tailing, but they didn't bite during the daytime. So we decided we're gonna try and catch them at night time so that's why we've got the gecko and uh, sleep on the boat tonight so we're gonna try best to show you everything uh, I, I made a previous episode with me and Francia okay so we're always joking Francia says that uh, he's he people tells him that he's going fishing with me where actually I'm going fishing with him so yeah today um, that episode I went fishing with him I might sneak in a couple of things there he caught a small small grunter we were drifting with prawns um, but not much happening that day. So yo, today we're gonna um, we're gonna fish with a clipfish, and we're gonna go. I've got an oki leg as well, so octopus. I might try for a cop with, with the octopus leg. And yeah, let's get this episode on the road. Let's see what we can do. Okay, so now we are here. We're standing under the bridge, and we're trying to get some more clipfish. So all I'm using is a little swivel, and that's my accessible weight. And I'm putting a small piece of octopus leg, very small piece with a small loop um, on that. And then I just cast it into the water, but the wind's a little bit bad now. So I just let that sink to the bottom. And um, yeah, and then the, you can feel the clippers bite on that. <laughs> you can feel the clippers bite on that, the wind just blew. Uh, oh, hooks away, but <laughs> lucky Shaggy's kidding. <laughs> okay, but I'll show you now when we get some clippers. So we're still trying to catch some, really for half an hour now, still trying to catch some um, <laughs> clippuses, or like somebody would say stonefish. <laughs> if you haven't seen the video um, of Outdoor Man, the Outdoor Man, go check out their YouTube channel, they catch amazing fish. It's Arnold and his son Johnny, they really really catch amazing fish. Cop and Grunter, they know a lot about fishing and I actually phoned them up yesterday to ask them um, how did they get the fish and where did they, what, how do they hook the, the the clipfishes and uh, yeah there's an episode where they fish this exact same area when they caught clipfish and they caught grunters on clipfish go check out the video it's an awesome video but yeah we've managed uh, a couple of clipfish stonefish rockfish i don't know what you call them but in afrikaans we call them clipfish <laughs> when you get excited about catching clippers okay so there you can see oh lovely lovely clippers some big ones some small ones and we've got some more on the boat so we've got more than enough clippers and yeah now we're gonna get on the boat there shaggy caught another one and just look how beautiful the gecko looks in the water absolutely beautiful huh the twin mercury is on oh stunning okay so now we're gonna go yeah we're gonna go up uh we're quickly gonna get a couple of prawns and um then we're gonna start fishing so we've got all the rods in the water now oh granted tailing there what a beautiful evening yo stunning 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 evening the wind has completely died down there's grantus tailing everywhere um yo so we've got fish on 
uh, we got another we got a nice couple of bites there but yeah so we're going to be stationed here for the night um, yeah it's absolutely stunning evening wind is completely down and it's not too cold as well so, uh, good morning guys <laughs> yeah um the whole night fishing with clipfish and prawns and we were lucky enough to get a couple of live mullets but not even a taker we had three lines in with live mullets in our normal usual cop spot but nothing so yeah now we're gonna stop here quickly to get some pink prawns and then still dark sun just about to pop up so now we're gonna quickly check if we can get some prawns and then we're gonna try again up the river where we saw all of them trailing the last couple of episodes Yo, what a beautiful morning. Absolutely stunning. Yeah, we've moved up up again. Um, we stopped quickly for pink prawns, so now we've got a couple of pink prawns and clippers in the water. So let's see. This is a spot where I always see them tailing, and I've already seen a couple of tails this morning. There is one tailing right there. So um, yeah, it's just after six now, and we're gonna be fishing until. We see the weather gets too bad because it's the day before all the big, big, big rainstorms and all the flood warnings and everything has come out. So it's supposed to start raining today and rain for three, four days. But um, yeah, so let's see if we can catch. And we're probably fishing in around about a meter of water. But whenever I'm here with my kayak, I always see them tailing here on this bank. So I've always wanted to fish this first thing in the morning. So that's why we stopped here this morning. But um, yeah, I think I'm close to closing the book on clipfish fishing, <laughs> stonefish fishing. This is the fourth, fifth time that I've tried fishing with clipfish and still nothing. So yeah, I might be, um, I might want to close the the book on clipfish fishing for granted. It's a nice one. Yeah. Okay, so finally we're on here. Yeah? Um, Blakey, oh jeez, I think it's a nice one because we're, oh, did he drop it? Go, 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 reel, Blakey, reel. Pick up the rod, pick up the rod. Now as you go down, reel as you go down. And pick up, reel as you go down. Okay. Reel, drag quickly. Okay, go. Oh, shucks, it's going to pick up all the lines now. If it's swimming around like that, it's probably a nice fish. Um, don't, don't make the line, line slack, Blakey. Keep it up. Keep it up, okay. Okay, so finally we've got a fish on. It's swimming around all the lines now. Like you fight it that way, take it that way. There we go. So finally some excitement. Uh, I just want to see how big it is first. Finally some excitement here on the boat after a good 13, 14 hours of fishing. We finally have a fish on. Uh, don't know, don't doesn't look very big hasn't gone on any runs yet but um yeah at least we've got a, a fish on that took some drag so we'll see where you going no stay there black i'm trying to is it too strong no it's is it too strong for you black no it's too long it's coming around here is, is the fish too strong for you there it goes on a little run oh well, there we go um you never know with these grunters they sometimes they come in and they want to start to fight right here next to the boat. So, yeah, it looks like a decent size. Yeah, it goes on another little run there. Yeah, the other one. So, Blake is catching a fish for us. Oh, yeah, it's a nice one. Yeah, it's a really nice one. Here it comes. Oh, it's a beautiful grunter. Oh, this one can go to the pan. Blakey can eat this one. Well done, Blakey. I want to see it. Yeah, it's coming, coming now. Oh. It's coming now. It's coming now. It's a grunt. He's going to take a couple more runs here next to the boat. Oh, shucks. That's not what we want. What? It's under the boat now. Oh, oh no, yes. Yo, so it's a nice grunt, Blakey. It's a beautiful grunt. Okay, let me just get the net here. <gasps> oh, right here. Yeah. 
bad luck, Blakey. <laughs> it was a beautiful grunter. Uh, probably around about 45 to 50 centimeters. Um, unfortunately, Blake is not going to have grunty tonight to eat then. <laughs> So we had one or more two pickups there where we're lying um, but we decided to come and drift now with live bait and see if we can maybe pick up a garrick um, the storm's almost coming in now you can see that it's getting colder a lot colder than it was last night um, so yeah we've got three live bait uh, two live bait and i'm drifting with a little prawn here at the back as well um, so yeah that's that's what we're busy doing at the moment just going over the banks and into the holes trying to see if there's maybe a Gary or small cop that will pick up that live bait. Um, I've caught Gary here before on live bait drifting so yeah we'll see if we can maybe pick up something with the liveys. Can't live, waste that liveys. So other than that we're gonna head home soon. I hope we can catch one more fish before we head home. But yeah um, Garrick, when you're fishing for Garrick, uh, there is a couple of episodes I've done with, with Garrick, um, especially little 4 0 circle loop because the Garrick in, in Climb Rock is not very big Garrick, so 4 0 circle loop or 6 0 circle loop, just through the top lip, make sure that you get like a little piece of the um, thicker head in there when you hook it, it stays alive a really, really long time. Um, yeah, not much else to report at the moment, but hopefully I can show you fish just now. Okay guys, so that concludes this episode, um, yeah, not a lot of fish, just the one that we lost right at the boat, but it was still a lovely evening being out in the water, um, so yeah, please subscribe, sorry that's all I have for you guys, uh, bad weather coming in again with the big waves that we had and big swell that we had last week, unfortunately no spear fishing, no deep sea fishing, hopefully next weekend I'll get out, uh, remember there is a, um, next weekend we are doing a free diving course, a paddy free diving course, it's going to be based on spear fishing. so if, if you are interested, I still got one spot open, so if you are interested, please let me know, and then um, you can join the course, hope you guys have a lovely day, see you soon.